Welcome to La Mesa Farm and this is part 3 of our Korean Natural Farming series. Make sure to watch part 1 and part 2 videos because those are essential in order for you to understand the process we do in this video. As you can see, our plants are looking good and this is just some of the evidence that Korean Natural Farming really works. Let's start setting up the materials needed for our next stage, which is IMO3 or Indigenous Microorganisms Stage 3, wherein we will increase the colony or population of our good bacteria or white molds. So those are our products, banana, eggs, and we have oregano, a different type of oregano, and this is our bok choy which are ready for sale. We don't throw plastics, we rather reuse them. Those are our Korean natural farming inputs, which are the fa'a, IMO, and some other fermented things. So we'll just use what we have. We have the fermented garlic or we call it OHN in Korean natural farming. It's a, an oriental herbal nutrients made up of garlic. We will also use fa'a or fish amino acid. Amino acid made out of fish. Then we will also need salt. We will put all the measurements or the materials and ingredients you will need on our description of this video. So make sure to check as well our descriptions so you will know what to use or you will know what materials to be prepared. So we will not complicate it. We just use what we have. So far it works well. So this is IMO2 and we showed you how to make it in our last video. So make sure to really watch it before um, watching this video. So we are mixing it in the water so got, together with the fermented garlic or OHN and fish amino acid and also we will put salt. <coughs> <laughs> we still have to add more water because the carbs that we are gonna be using must be moist enough so we can um, culture more white molds or my beneficial microorganisms so we will transfer the mixture into this 200 liters um, bucket but we will only add half full of water in this bucket so that's gonna be 100 100 liters of water we will be using rice bran as our source of carbs because um, beneficial microorganisms love carbs carbohydrates since rice bran is the available carbs in our area so that is what we're gonna use when culturing beneficial microorganisms you ha we have to do it on soil to avoid any synthetic chemical contamination 
and to make sure that everything is natural. So we will be mixing it like mixing a concrete materials, like mixing a cement and sand. So we will just gradually mix the water or the liquid into the rice bran until they are completely incorporated. Kuan man lasira? This is size. So we're done mixing it and it has to be this moist. Then we will cover it with rice straw or grass clippings. Then a tar, a tarpaulin. Okay guys, so we're done with the IMO3 process. So we will have to wait for another week or one week, but we will check it after three days. Oh my goodness. Oh. Light, light. Wow. Good job, guys.